let's go ahead and start from the bottom because you know the bottom, you know, get get that crusty stuff out the I'm way. From the bottom now, we're but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So starting with the bottom, uh, I, there's a clear bottom and a clear top over here in the AL East, which is the Orioles are going to be a clear bottom and Yankees are going to be a clear top in this uh, division. But there's a little tricky stuff in the middle there, yep. especially with the Red Sox, you know, and what, what all's going on. And those Blue Jays. And the Blue Jays too. They in there. They, 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 you know, Blue, Blue Jays got a lot of youth over there right now. So they, we, we they, got they, some pitching too. We picked up some pitchers. I'll go over here. Yeah, they they can do whatever they want. But starting off with the Oreos. Now I'll tell you about the Oreos. Uh, last year, the first bet I made for MLB, I was in Vegas with Big Rag going them for the <laughs> ponies or something. As soon as I touched down, you know, I had a couple dollars in my pocket. I dropped forty on uh, the Oreos. Plus two ninety five, um, playing the Yankees first game of the season, and the Orioles cashed that one, man. So I, 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 I can't, that. I can't be mad. I can't be mad at the Orioles, but uh, nah. it looks like the Orioles right here on the off season. You know, they they this lackluster effort right here with the Orioles in them um getting the pieces that they need to be successful. So what do y'all? What do y'all? What do y'all where y'all at with the Orioles? I'll start with you, Bobby. Okay, I'll go. Look, remember, in spring training, first of all, before we get into all this stuff, you got to remember that certain pitches are working on certain pitches. If you're doing your research and you see your guy, you're like, wow, we just absolutely annihilated. I thought he was supposed to be a star. Remember, it's to work kinks out. Spring training, that's why I don't think that there's any real angle unless you're really following it. Long story short. Orioles pitching staff through spring training looks okay. The thing is, they don't have any organization here. We got Chris Davis, Chris He's Davis, worst, worst baseball contract in history, hitting homers out the park. Does that mean <laughs> anything? No, you have Mancini, your star, your franchise player who is on the trading block. Yeah, it's. An organization that's not doing it right. Taking to win, DJ. Remember that on our pick six contest? I've been yeah. taking the bank, baby. <laughs> the bank. It's not the way this works. You're not doing it right, Oils. I'm going to tell you what. If there's a win total, I don't do this. I would bet the under. There's absolutely no way. You got Iglesias from the Reds. Cool. You got Munoz. Uh, I mean, that's it. You got three guys. You have a, a pitching staff that's not even organized. Yeah. Guys are fighting for a rotation spot. You have John Means, who is a bright spot in that organization, a guy who I think does not deserve this fate in the Orioles because they're going to find a way to keep him. It's just a sad, sad situation in a sad, sad uh, town in Baltimore. <laughs> Star for Baltimore guys out there. That place fucking sucks. And uh, long story short, this place – Trending wise, betting wise, going under on the win totals, going yeah. over. Actually, I, I can't even say if we're gonna go if we're trending over on the game because of the fact that there are no hitters and you just got shit pitching and guys who don't even have a rotation. I don't know what to do with this. What's your take on this, Ghoster? Uh, I, I completely agree though. Like this is a bottom feeder team. They've been in the bottom of the AL for the last, you know, five, ten years. Um they finally got rid of their their longtime coach. Um, I just I don't know what to think about this team. Like you said, Mancini is the only guy they really have. They haven't had pitching staff for a while. Um, it's kind of like the Miami Marlins of the past year. Miami is going to be a much better team, but that's kind of like Baltimore now, guys. They they have no one. They're going to be I think a hot and cold team. So when they do put some wins together, that's when you want to back them. But when they're losing three, four, five games in a row, just keep fading that team. So um, yeah, I would I'd look at under team total. Um, also, you got Toronto. That's a much improved team. The Yankees, Boston, Tampa Bay. Like it's a, it's a, it's one of the toughest divisions in baseball. So I would be looking at an under. I didn't have the team total written down here, but I would be looking at a team total under there. Well, I, I say that uh, I, I'll go for team total under as well. But I say teams like this, you just don't go out and jump out and fade them because. Um, in baseball, it's so many games. Teams got to lose at some point in the time. You know, they go through things from month to month. So it's not like they're so bad you just got to fade them. But um, look at some of the high points of the team. And 
find some ways to jump on them at some of that plus money because mm -hmm. first two months of baseball is a lot of plus money that they're going to dish out. But you got to know in baseball when to jump off the train and when to stay on the train. And, um, you know, this team right here, look at them outside of conference. They, they, they may have better look outside of conference, but I'm, yeah. I know going down the stretch, they're going to tank, you know, just the competition in the conference is too tough, but early on, Hey, they worked for me last year. Another, <laughs> another, another bad team could do what it was. What do you say? A bank in the tank, bank in the tank, tank right there. Bank, bro. Yeah. There give, it me is, the right there. give me the plus, give me the plus bucks. That's exactly. it. They go down. We go up. <laughs> exactly.